Hello ladies and gentlemen, Johnny John or not here, back again with a GT Sport. Today I will bring you my Toyota Supra RZ Driftable. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, first, set the power to 154% or 501 horsepower. You will have to upgrade your power level to reach this power level. Set weight reduction to the max or 84%. Once again, you will have to upgrade. Uh, for this drift build, I used Comfort Softs for more grip, but you're free to use anything you please, sports hearts, or anything under that. However, some drifting purists, that's in air quotes, may criticize you for using anything other than Comfort Hearts, so beware. And be aware. Brake balance, zero. Ride height, slammed, or lowest possible. Natural frequency, 2.1 in the front and 1.7 on the rear, anti-roll bars, 4 in the front and 4 in the rear, compression, 61 in the front, 60 in the rear, rebound, 91 in the front, 90 in the rear, negative camber angle, 1.5 in the front, 0 in the rear, toe angle out, 0 0.5 in the front, and in, 2.0 in the rear, fully customizable LSD, initial torque, 5, acceleration sensitivity, 5, brake sensitivity, 50. Fully customizable transmission and top speed 230 top speed 230 kilometers or 142 miles per hour. All right, now for the demonstration on a Suzuka East course, or is it Suzuka course East? Fuck, I don't know. All right, here we are on the Suzuka course East, Suzuka Circuit East course. Fuck, I keep on getting that wrong. Whatever. Before I even hit the start button. Before you even do anything on the track, you have to do this. Go to your driving options. Make sure you are on manual transmission. Track control is off. Auto drive is off. Driving line assist is off. Brake indicator is off. ASM is off. Counter steering assist off. ABS, usually you want that off, but really up to you. Now for the advanced settings. Controller sensitivity 7 and force feedback max torque 10. And with that said, now we can hit the track. One more thing, uh, typically you'll want to drift in third or fourth gear on corners such as the ones found on like Suzuka Course East. Or just Suzuka East Course, I keep on fucking it up. And that about wraps up the video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment what you thought of the build. Any, uh, any adjustments you would recommend. And if you tried it, has it worked for you? And subscribe to keep up with my other GT Sport content and Monster Hunter content. And with that said, thank you, and I hope you have a lovely day or night.